Hey guys, I am behind on my uh, 60 seconds with, so I've got, you'll see a backlog coming. But I want to quickly do one with Dean Johnson of Healthy Homes. Dean is actually my uncle, and we sat down in his Virginia home. Um, he had been through multiple businesses, working for other companies, an entrepreneur himself over the years. And as of the last five years, he was working with Boeing, had a great job with Boeing, and he decided to go out again, and this time in his mid-50s, um, in the pest control field, he started a company called Healthy Homes Pest Control, something he had not done uh, full time, you know, as as a, in that field. He was more of a computer. He's been with tech startups, things like that. Um, and he's loving it, you know, I, I, and I love his adventurous spirit in the mid 50s to just say, you know what, let's go do this. Um, but some of the things I really um, took away and, and have stuck with me is towards the end, he gets to talk about his customers, the customers that he has now. And he says, you know, for them, it's really about making an impact. It's about um, having a happy experience with his customers, with his neighbors, and involving his family in it, you know? And I, after our interview, I really made me think about how important each customer is in business. Sometimes we get lost, it's all about numbers, it's all about more revenue or scaling. In my conversation with Dean, I really took time to ponder myself on just the, the power of one customer and, and how much, how important they are, each customer. Something else I love that he talked about, we talked a little bit about when I asked him what success was to him, you know, he said it's just being able to enjoy and love what you do every day. But then he went on to talk about sometimes we, he has the opportunities to use healthy homes as a way to do service, to, to, to lighten someone, someone who's downtrodden, someone who's going through a hard time, to bring them just some joy. Um, and, and he's been able to use pest control as a way to serve others. Um, and he doesn't want to, you know, we tell, he said, I don't know if I should share this. I'm not, I'm not trying to solicit. I want to go do free pest control all the time. But the idea was he, he was able to help, you know, he shares a story about helping a woman had a cockroach infestation and just couldn't afford it. And he just, he couldn't, he couldn't leave. He couldn't leave her in that mess. And so he did some work for her and came back and did a follow up. But just that little bit of effort and time to go out of his way to help a person, you know, really made a big impact on someone who's living with cockroaches and they can't afford the service. And so I guess my thought and challenge is, look at our businesses, our companies. Are we using them to help others? Are we using them to serve? Whether it's giving away services or charity work or using our revenues or our time that the businesses produce to allow us to be free to help others. Anyway, just really great stuff. My I, Uncle Dean and Aunt Carol are some of the best people on the earth. I'm so grateful for them. I'm really excited about this venture of Healthy Homes Pest Control. Uh, Goochland, Virginia was an amazing experience. I, I love my time there. I can't wait to go back. Um, and, and just, I, I feel, this inspires me when I see it. This is the kind of conversation we're having, you know, do something good for others using your business. So anyway, a little mumble jumbled there, but just, I was just so excited. I couldn't get it all out. Anyway, I will, you will see a, a flow of my other summaries for, with other entrepreneurs. Take care.